Hi, Sandy Reese here, founder and chief encouragement officer at Get Fully Funded, where we help small nonprofits raise the money they need to fund their operations. Today I have a tip for you that literally came across my desk this morning, and it's about making your fundraising letters a little easier to read. So somebody sent me this morning a copy of a sponsorship letter. It's almost spring, and a lot of nonprofits have their events in the spring. And somebody asked me if I would just look at it. And I got stuck almost immediately because there was way too much text on the page. They were trying to say a lot and they had squished it all in and made the, uh, made the margins really small and the font really small and it was hard to read. So I want to give you a couple of tips about improving the readability of your letter. So whether it's a sponsorship letter, it's a fundraising letter, it's an appeal, it's something that you're sharing online, it doesn't matter. Whatever it is, these tips are going to work for you. So number one, don't try to cram all the text you can on the page. People don't want to read that. Like this letter I looked at this morning literally had three paragraphs and they were all that big. So my first thought was break it into small sentences and small paragraphs because people don't want to work real hard to read. The next thing is leave out anything people don't understand. Leave out the jargon, the acronyms, the insider language. Keep it really simple. So use, in fact, if you want to use a lot of two and three syllable words, that's going to really help. You want to do things like have lots of white space, make big margins. Um, keep it really easy to read because again, people are super busy. They're not going to work really hard to read it. Now, here's one tip that I have for you that uh, this will help you a lot. I know that uh, a lot of us write things and I tend to write one day and edit the next. I, I don't do it all in the, in the same day because your brain understands what you meant to write and it will make sense to you. It may not make sense to somebody else. So it, it's very helpful to come back the next day. And what you can also do is take your letter and read it out loud. So draft it one day, sleep on it, come back to it the next day, read it out loud. If you stumble over any of the words or stumble over any of the sentences, that's a sign that you need to go back and simplify it. So if the, the, your thoughts that are strung together in words don't make any sense to you, if you're having trouble reading it and understanding what you yourself wrote, nobody else is going to be able to easily read it either. And if they can't easily read it, they can't easily understand what you're trying to say and they're not going to take action. So there you go. A couple of tips to make your fundraising letters, your sponsorship letters, even your thank you letters, nice and clean, simple to read, and you're going to be way more likely to get the results that you need. You can get more fundraising tips just like these on our blog at getfullyfunded.com slash blog or at getfullyfundedtv.com. That's our YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe both places so you'll get all the great tips delivered right to your inbox every week. See you next time.